A great big thank you to the more than one million of you that like us on Facebook. Wow, that's six and a half times more than live in the whole city of Oxford. If we were to drive you here in buses, we'd need nearly 11,000 of them, stretching end to end all the way to Cambridge. If you wanted to, it would take 11 days to count to a million, but there might be better ways to spend the time. There's the unique programme for state school students, say, soon to be the largest free summer school in the country, with a thousand places on offer. If you're a bit older, you could take a short course. We're one of the largest providers of continuing education in the UK, with more than 15,000 people taking part. If you've just got 86,000 seconds, that's a day, why not take a trip to our museums? Two million of you already do each year, including 100,000 on school trips. In other ways, a million's quite a small thing, compared to the 14 million children who learn English with Oxford textbooks in China alone. One in every five learners in the world use Oxford materials in learning English. Try 50 million. That's the number of entries we got in our first year in our project to help sort galaxies. Or 123 million years. That's the number of years of climate predictions we're running. Or think about the petabytes of data we're analysing in fields such as disease research. A thousand, thousand gigabytes. Put it on paper, you'd need 20 million filing cabinets for that. It's guessed that 90% of all the data in the world was made in the last two years, and we're at the forefront of making sense of it. From big to small. We can engineer changes in materials not at 100,000 nanometers thick. That's the page of a book, side on. Nor at the scale of a hair, a very lumpy 10,000 nanometers, but at a space equivalent to 10 by 10 nanometers. A lot of zeros, but a very small thing, allowing for brand new displays and other technology. But it's the middle-sized numbers that speak more clearly about the university. Take the 97% satisfaction rate with our courses, or the 93% of our students were employed six months after graduation, or our 98.4% completion rate, one of the highest in the country. So it seems that sometimes you need to look beyond the human stories and look at the numbers to understand a place like Oxford. One great place to live, work and study. So thank you again, and we hope to see you.